season long. Helping film, edit, oh, shoot them. Oh, nice! Double tap! Up. Coming right here, right here, right here, right here. Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Woo! It is right at 3.30 in the a.m. It's sitting at 55 degrees. There is the, the only bad thing about this morning's weather is that there is no wind like usual, man. There's no wind at all right now in the morning time. Woo! But teal season is upon us. Y'all loved the last hunt where we went public land duck hunting. Actually, it was public wetland duck hunting. Now today, we're doing it again. But we're going somewhere else, somewhere really small. I actually haven't been there forever. You guys haven't been there with me forever. This is a, a little walk-in public marsh. Little, real little. And we got one heck of a hike in. We're gonna have to carry the decoys. When I say we, we got old Preston with us today. He's on his way uh, to pick me up because my truck, the old Cummins, she's in the shop getting some service work done. So we're gonna ride with him today, but this is what we got. We got about oh, two dozen teal decoys. And we're taking some of the new dive bomb floaters, baby. Look at them. Yes, they're mallard decoys, but they're brown. I guarantee you they'll work just fine. And bad boys are amazing. There's no way any ducks couldn't like them. But like always, like I always tell you guys, if you guys wanna help support the channel and help me bring you guys more of these videos, literally one thing that you can do is go down in the description, click the ducks waterfowl link, any of them, hats, hoodies, t-shirts, the pants, yes, these bad boys right here. If you guys haven't checked out the thermal pants, they are the juice for waders. If you want a pant that goes under your waders perfectly, warm, cold, oh, try them out. Get you a pair. You won't regret it. But I appreciate it, guys. You guys, a lot of you really don't understand how much it does help uh, me bring more videos to you guys. So thank you. But enough blabbing. Uh, like I said, we're going to have one heck of a hike in. I think it's about a half mile in, uh, which isn't a lot, but with gear, it's quite a bit. So we're going to get on the road here. I can hear Preston pulling up now. Let's go see if we can kill some teal. Oh, oh, and by the way, I have, I just checked, and for some reason, I don't know why it went up, but there's like 47% of you guys now that still have not subscribed. Waterfowl hunting videos coming all season for the next six months pretty much because we got clients to guide and everything else. If you guys are trying to learn waterfowl hunting, if you guys are trying to be entertained with all sorts of waterfowl hunting, everything from big field spreads to little marsh spreads like today, subscribe. You might learn something new. You might get a laugh out of me. Woo. Well, we're out here. We made it uh man that was uh, right at i think it was only a little more than an eighth mile i believe uh but i got turned around and i started headed north when i should have been going southeast boy finally we're here we're here i know i'm steaming it yeah you're hold on a minute don't move yeah you're definitely steaming <laughs> and it's really foggy look at all this going on extreme fog this is what we got going on right here uh one heck of a hike in we are going to be standing, sitting on our chairs. Yes, that one, that one, that's our chairs. Little homemade blind going on here. Uh, big shout out to Landon, dude. Hooked it up, dropped me a pen. They had already built this little homemade blind out here out of uh, old cedars. Uh, thanks, Landon. Dude, you're the man. It took me way too long to find it, though, in the dark. Uh, it's right at, what time is it? Is it 5.15 yet, or...? 515 so here's the situation here's the blind we're gonna move our chairs in here this is where we'll be sitting and out front it's pretty cool you have to check this out this is all it is right here all it is just a little bit of water some knockdown weeds it looks like they took a bush hog in here when it was all dry oh there you go now we got some light thanks bud uh but yeah it's just <laughs> Some push down, mowed down weeds. We got two dozen decoys out front. 
and uh, a really tall extended pole mojo that we found on the way in. Uh, Landon, if that's your pole, let me know. If it's someone else's pole and you're watching, let me know. But we're good to go. Pretty crazy little spot, to be honest. Uh, we scared, we actually found the spot. As we were walking in, we started spooking up ducks. I bet we spooked up eh, probably 50, 60 ducks in total. So they're here. Well, I got you all on the GoPro. Uh, beautiful little Kansas sunrise. Awesome. Got a lot of tail getting up and buzzing us. What time is it? One minute. We have one minute till shooting light. So um, the shot cam is going to be really dark. Yeah, this bad boy right there. Uh huh. It's going to be really dark. So I'm hoping that the GoPro will suffice for just a little bit. And I hope that the birds <laughs> wait to fly for a minute here. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Got one uh, if you want to shoot them, I'll film you. If he comes on in here, you take him, brother. It's beautiful, lovely. More. Look at this one. That's yeah. a green wing. He was tiny, I bet. Uh, it is gorgeous. We've been watching birds fly. We had one bird about smack our mojo a couple times. Um, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Do we'll do a little gentleman's hunt on these singles. Yeah. <laughs> Walk in hunting, man. This is beautiful. I, I gotta start doing this more often. That's what me and Preston were just talking about. By the way, if you haven't followed my boy Preston, he's gonna be with us all season long, helping film, edit. Oh, shoot him. Oh, nice! Double tap! Up. Coming right here, right here, right here, right here. Oh, you missed him. Okay, wait, we're, it's time to spray, boys. You got two. Uh, they, yep. Both down right here. That that first one that went long, he's not all dead yet. Should you I, might uh, have to go. Yeah, go. Oh, boy, howdy. Old Preston with the double tap. Be ready to shoot. He might get up on you. You might have to shoot him like a pheasant. If y'all are liking this so far, the walk-in hunting, smash a thumbs up. And like I was saying, follow my boy Preston. Y'all know him. He's been around for the last three years. But he's coming on board at Sand Hill Flyway, and he's going to be doing a lot of filming and editing. So you got to go give him a follow on Instagram. Let's get him to 8,000 followers. Come on, y'all. Dude, they were close. Which one? Uh... That one might have been the live one. I'll, I'll come over there and help you. The mojo and the decoys, this is what we got going on like I showed y'all. It's all close. This is the blind, and we got this little strip of water. The mojo ain't, but probably 12 15 yards ahead oh. Oh. Watch it on the right. oh yeah he's coming back right down the chute oh. Oh. get in here uh, oh he's gonna come over on your side now Ooh, he did a little flyby action he might come back this is amazing uh Preston and I are the only ones out here today. It's gorgeous. This is what's nice about weekdays, guys. Um, if you can get out there on a little two-man gig on a weekday, get out there on your public land on a weekday. We haven't heard one other gunshot. Preston, you're the only one to uh, disrupt the silence. <laughs> uh, we found one of his ducks. We looked for about 10 minutes for the second one. We're gonna let it get a little lighter out here, let the sun get up. We're going to take another gander and see if we can find it, but one, one in the bag for Preston, one on the ground somewhere for Preston, zero for Bob. Well, come on now. Come on, get in here. Oh, on the right. We're on the right. It's probably that same one. He's wanting to get the, he, dude, he wants all the smoke here in a minute. It's going to happen. Right here, right here. That's a shot. Hey, keep an eye on it. I'm headed. Woo, that's a shot. Good Lord. Right here. Into that big tree row. Boy, howdy. Dude, that's far. Oh, uh, this is, uh, before we got going here, 
we were saying, uh, man, we really got to help each other find our ducks because this is what we're dealing with. Nothing but this right here. Help each other, help your friends, keep your eye on a duck, help your buddies find their birds. That bad boy landed every bit of probably 50, 60 yards away. Keep your eye on it and just walk straight towards it. That's what I've learned to do. I'm sure a lot of you know that. Should be right here, isn't it? Maybe a little more to your left. A little more to my left? Where are you, buddy? It fell before it got to this stuff. Woo! <laughs> Just found him right there. Uh, wasn't all the way dead, so he was playing peekaboo, going under the water. Thank goodness I about stepped on him, and he moved. There we go. Yes! Preston and I are both on the board. This is an awesome little walk-in two-man hunt. That's what I'm... This! I told y'all... I told y'all we were going to do more public hunting this year, and I mean it. We're going to get after it. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing, we're going to go... Oh, oh. Nice shot! Get him! Get him! Oh, he had to reload. <laughs> oh, Preston. <laughs> Jammed another shell in. Nice shot on the one, dude. Ah, oh, but like I was saying, we're gonna go on a little public land tour here, so stick with us. Uh, a lot of the upcoming videos are gonna be public duck hunts, just like this. Small hunts that are a lot of fun. I encourage you guys, if you guys have been thinking about duck hunting, find you a buddy, get out there, experience it. Get out there, buy them federal duck stamps, darn it. He landed right over here somewhere. Right here somewhere. You smoked him too. I mean, there was, there was quite the puff off of that one. Man, they are so hard to find. It's unreal. Guys, as you, oh, here he is, here he is, here he is. As you can tell, it takes a lot of time to find your birds. Spend the time. Find your birds. Don't just go look once and call it quits. Find them birds. There you are, brother. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I thought you only shot twice and you still had one in your barrel for the, or mm -hmm. one in your gun. I hit that one on the first shot. Second shot, third shot, reload. Fourth shot out the back and still <laughs> let him get away. I was like, oh, this is going to be epic if you slap a shell in there and just bang him out. Oh, this is beautiful, man. That's what it's all about. Oh God, I couldn't shoot him. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I couldn't shoot him, dude. I could not get, I let him get way too close. They coming? Oh, go down. Oh, he's going down. Bam, that patch, that patch, you, see, you see that patch? Oh, hit him, nice shot. Oh man, that's just so close for me, I guess. Goodness, well, we got two down. You might have to, he's right here. He, mine went down there. That's two more birds. We gotta find them though. That's always the hard part here. Smash the thumbs up. Come on, boys and gals. It's a rally out here. We've been waiting. This fog's gonna lift, and I think that they're gonna fly more. I think that's the reason they haven't flown. Yeah. The fog's starting to lift. You're right out here. Yep. You got another hike. Yeah, I'm right out here. Nice, dude. I'm still looking. Oh, I'm not having any luck. That bird was, he was wounded. He didn't go down hard, so I'm thinking that he either drowned himself or he just kept swimming off. I've been looking for every bit of 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Preston just decoyed one right on the decoy and smoked it. That was one heck of a shot. 
What did you do to that duck? 15 yards away. Oh, you split it. Yeah, we can't show that on there. <laughs> At the mojo, huh? Oh, yeah. Just right, literally 10 yards, no, he like five hit, yards from the mojo. He about hit the mojo, and then I let him get away from it. I didn't want to take your mojo out. <laughs> oh, beautiful morning. Singles, doubles, every, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maybe. It's just fun. The effort you got to put in to finding them birds though. You gotta kill them closer like I am. Exactly, the, dude, when those two were coming right at me, they came to the right side of that mojo and dude, I could not get squared up to save my life. I was drawing up, I was like, ugh. Couldn't make it happen, dude. You are out shooting me by a long shot today, my friend. Look at you, four on the board for old Dirty P. My goodness. You got shot two while you old were away. P Diddy. Yeah, probably did. Oh. Is he coming around? What's he doing? You see him? It has been a minute. We're coming up on 8.30 here, and uh, it's been a minute. That's the first duck we've seen probably in the last, what, 20 minutes? Yeah. Probably 20 minutes. That is, that definitely ain't no, a duck. No, no. <laughs> Dude, I was like, well, from far away, turn down, look down and get my gun. <laughs> What are you uh what are you thinking? Should we give it the 10 minute warning or the 15 minute warning? I think the 10 minute warning because it puts us right at nine. <laughs> yeah. Uh so Preston, we've hunted his marsh a bunch and there there was always a nine o'clock flight. Here, uh there's not very many ducks. I mean, we just haven't seen the ones we've seen have came to us, to be honest. So if that tells you anything, we've probably seen what, 10, 12 ducks? Yeah, we shot saw, six of them. But we saw five of them. Saw a lot more this morning in the uh, when the sun yeah. was still down. When we were yeah, this morning when we were walking in at four thirty in the morning, five in the morning, uh, we spooked up. I mean, right at our feet. One hit me, almost hit me right in the face. But we kicked up probably, I don't know, fifty, somewhere around fifty, sixty ducks. Just not seeing them. They must have got up at shooting light after we popped one or two rounds off and went and sat down on another pool. So I will show you the uh, little spread that we got going on here now that it's light. Like I said, here's a blind big shout out to Landon for hooking me up on a location. I would have never found it if he hadn't have dropped me a pin. Thank you, Landon. But as you can see, they came in here and they mowed a strip through here. Whoever manages this pool. Uh, Thank you for mowing that strip. There's also little pools like that one everywhere too, but the water is extremely low. We haven't had a bunch of rain. Actually, we're very, very low in August uh, for rainfall, but uh, September been dry as well. We've only had, I guess we had two inches about, about a week ago. We could really use some water. But here's the mojo. Them ducks were coming right around the mojo. And it's only 12 yards, 15 yards. On the left. Oh yeah. Shoot him. Nice. Yeah, dude. Nice. We gave him a little dubby exact double same tappy time. tappy. Yeah, we pulled at the same time. I'll go over and pick him up. Watch for them other ones if they get up. Yeah. What time is it? We were giving it the 10 minute window. We're gonna we're gonna be done at nine o'clock. Right what? At nine o'clock. It's right at nine o'clock. <laughs> the nine o'clock flight, guys. Always wait for the nine o'clock flight. It's a true thing. Old Preston, he said it. And he was right. Right at nine o'clock on the dot. Oh, uh, there he is. He was farther than we thought. Oh, he's pretty. Real pretty. We didn't tear him up at all. He is, he's hard to find. So the bird I just found. It was cold when I picked it up. I'm like, that's not our bird we shot. I just watched the footage back on the GoPro. Thank goodness you can do that. Look, you could barely see him right there underneath that grass. There we go. There we go. Oh, my goodness. That was a, uh, thank goodness for a playback on the old GoPro. Yeah. That lined us back up. Right down that line is where we found him. Oh, well, we're back at home letting the waders dry out, the gun case. It was uh, it was a little difficult today trying to keep this camera out of the water. 
Thank goodness that Landon and hit and his buddies built this homemade blind out of some cedar trees. It was really nice. Again, shout out to my buddy Landon. Thank you, brother. What's uh, your two cents on the hunt? What did you think? Great place, great spot. Yeah, first a time of... first time you've ever been to that public wetland. Yeah, it's a small walk-in little unit. Yeah, it's uh, it's a nice spot. It is. Keep it a secret. It's a real natural little spot. Yeah. Uh, and there wasn't very many ducks, but I will say for the, I, I'm honest, most of the ducks that we saw came to the mojo. Yeah, like right on it. Literally. Like about hit it. Every single duck. We'd see them, they'd make a big loop, and then here they came once they seen it. I honestly, I was telling Preston, I was like, I think today we could have left uh, two dozen till decoys at home and we could have just ran one or two mojos and been done and 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 the walk in the carry in and out would have been a lot better so uh now that i know that next time if you guys want to see us go back if you guys want to see preston and i i, I don't care if you go or not brother but it's going to happen i'm going on a little public land tour i'm going to go hit that was the first one i'm going to go hit the next one i got two more to hit at minimum two if you guys want to see it drop a comment down below if you want old Preston, old P. Diddy. <laughs> to be there? Yeah, dude. I'll be there. Well, I, I think you should do a certain amount of likes and we hunt with nothing but mojos. Ooh, the next video. You get a certain a... amount of likes, we'll hunt with nothing but how mojos. Many? How many mojos? No, no. How many likes? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What's your... Uh... I would say if we can get, if we can get 5,000 likes on this video. That, I mean, that would be awesome. If we can get it like in a week... Of this video going up, we'll do it. How many mojos? Five or a dozen or well, as many as you want. If it's a dozen, then we're, we're gonna have to use dove mojos too. I got, I got probably five mojos. You got five mojos. I got minimum five mojos. If you guys want to see that would be the ten mojo, looking. the dozen mojo, the ten, the ten mojo challenge, drop a comment down below, and you have to get this video to five thousand likes. If this video don't get to five thousand likes, then we ain't doing it. But good little hunt. Like I said, every duck that seen us came right to the mojo. Uh, there was a couple times they were too close for me, and I, I couldn't even steady my aim and get pulled up. You made some freaking spectacular shots. I'm shooting good. Yeah, I you... had a rough duff, dove opener day, yeah. so I, I needed that. Gotcha. If you guys liked today's video, make sure you subscribe. The waterfowl season's finally here. It's till season in Kansas. It's only going to be open for, what, another week or something. So if you haven't got out there, if you've been thinking about it, contemplating it, get out there, enjoy it, give it a go. And like I said before, if you guys want to help support the channel, one of the ways to do it, sign up for the Ducks T-Shirt of the Month. The Ducks T-Shirt of the Month will get you entered to win when you sign up to win this Argo right here. Oh yeah, Ducks is giving away our Argo at the end of the season, just like I did with my duck boat last year. Same thing with the Argo this year. For $14.99, $15.99, whatever it is, all it costs to get signed up for the ducks t-shirt of the month this is the one here you got to show them the back that bad boy right there the old wood duck it's literally our cheapest t-shirt on the entire site and uh, when you sign up it arrives in your mailbox the same day every single month and every month it's different but like i said it's linked down in the description below subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell if you haven't because it notifies you when your boy uploads I've been getting laid back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not time yet. Oh, it was not well, time. Okay, we'll play the old one. A lot of you've oh, been. Oh, you changed it? I've been using a different song, and there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Right there's a lot of people that have been like, where's the old song? I like the old country song. What is it now? This one. Oh,